You can find portable Bluetooth speakers a dime a dozen nowadays. In fact, I've reviewed my fair share of speakers before, but this one genuinely surprised me. Yo guys, it's Luke, and this is the Divoom Timebox Evo. What has gotten into me? It's like I'm in some dream when I look at you. Yeah, you. And I'm giving high fives out for free to everyone I see just because I want to. Starting off with the unboxing, the Timebox Evo comes in a nice cardboard box which includes some documentation and a micro USB cable for power. It's simple packaging, but it doesn't feel cheap. Okay, so by now you have probably noticed that this isn't your ordinary speaker. In fact, if any of you are fans of retro pixel art, then you will love this. Starting off with the speaker, it has a 256 LED panel on the front that allows you to do a variety of different things, some of which includes pixel art, games, visualizers, and a whole lot more. Now before we get into all of that, let's talk about the first thing that surprised me about the Timebox Evo, which was the build quality. This does not feel like an ordinary speaker. Sure, it's housed in rubber, but with that rubber, it has a nice matte feel in the hand with a very good weight. The edges are chamfered but not sharp, and the, all of the buttons feel tactile and yet responsive. Now the screen on the front is made of what seems to be glass, and the nice speaker grill on the back is also premium. One thing to note, there does seem to be a plastic screen protector on the front of the glass, which is easy to miss, but if you don't want to scratch the screen, you can leave it on. The point here is the speaker does not feel cheap, and it's priced similarly at $45. So the question now is, how much do you get for that $45? Well, if we're talking about the sound from the speaker, unfortunately, not a lot. The sound produced is all right. It's a bit heavy on the treble end, and while the highs come in crystal clear, mids are pretty flat and the bass is definitely lacking. Now, if you change things on your EQ on your phone, unfortunately, you can't push the bass anymore as it becomes distorted. Now, do keep in mind, this isn't a bad speaker per se, but it's nothing amazing. If you're just going to use it simply to amplify your phone speaker, then it will do the job just fine. The new ones or features of the speaker lie in its software. So obviously the most striking thing about the Timebox Evo is the LED panel on the front. It's made of 256 individual pixels and Dboom claims it can display about 16 million colors, which I can't really verify, but colors are rich and saturated and the overall display looks good. Where the Timebox Evo specializes is in the smart capabilities. Now, like I said earlier, if you're a fan of Super Mario or Mega Man or just retro stuff in general, then you will appreciate this speaker. It can display the time, act as an alarm clock, music visualizer, and you can even make your own 16-bit designs, which is actually probably the best selling point of this speaker. But in order to do all of this, you will have to download the Dvoom app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Inside the app, you will notice that you get far more finer controls of the device, allowing you to change things like clock faces, specific alarms, reminders, and even has a rudimentary audio mixer. But I wouldn't use this if I were you, as the latency is so bad that it's really just a cool party trick. Now on the main clock app, you can select up to four different things to rotate on the display, like the weather, temperature, and even calendar invites. You can also enable notifications on the speaker and it will flash the type of notification when you receive one on your phone, which is also pretty cool. Diving deeper into the app, you can change things like the color displayed in the speaker, the visual effects, style of visualizer, which is actually something I liked more than the other things, and even play a few games like Tetris. Now apparently there is a 64-bit mode which allows you to create more complicated pixel art designs, but in order to unlock that you have to upload some designs to Dvoom's own designer platform. To be honest, I found this a little ridiculous as it requires some additional work to unlock the full array of what you can do on this speaker, and I would have really liked to see it come as a default. Now, although Dvoom claims this is a smart speaker, there is no Amazon Alexa or any other assistant related program built in, which we've seen in similar price speakers. So that's something I definitely would have liked to see as well. There's a whole bunch of other things built into the software like a voice recorder, changer, and smart sleep aid. But to be honest, I really didn't use these. Don't get me wrong, they work fine, but they're not the selling point of the speaker. Other than that, the Timebox Evo is pretty solid and it definitely stands out against the norm. As far as battery life goes, it's pretty normal. Dvoom claims up to 6 hours, which seems about right. I didn't notice any specific battery life drains when the screen was on and playing music or when it was just on with no music. So who is this device geared towards? Again, I think it's geared not to audio folks, but to people who enjoy retro deep tech. The nostalgic feel is definitely present and part of the charm of this device. In fact, when I showed it to other people, they were pretty impressed. 
Is it a great speaker? No. Is it a cool piece of tech with some pretty cool features? Yes. So is it worth the $45? Well, if you're going to use it as a speaker, probably not. But if you want a cool retro themed LCD with a speaker attached, then probably. As a creator, I will probably just use it as a complimentary desk gadget. Now, Devium does have a few other products which I'd like to check out, such as their Pixo device and TiVo Max, which have a few other features, but all within the same core software. All in all, the Timebox Evo is a clever way to bring retro to modern tech, and I'd love to see more devices like this one. Well, if you liked this video, you know what to do. If you didn't, well, too bad. Anything else you'd like me to know, leave it in the comments below. This is Luke with Techno Minute, and until next time, peace.